Adrian the Problem Broner met John Molina Jr. in the first ever televised Premier Boxing Champions telecast on NBC regular television. First, let's talk about the entrances. I don't know if there's maybe a copyright issue that they have to go through first before they use someone's song. And maybe there just wasn't enough time to get all the paperwork done. Or maybe it's because the Heyman brand on NBC will be more PG-13, more PG instead of rated R. Obviously, since it's regular television, a lot of things will be censored. And maybe music is one, but it's kind of weird because even in baseball games, there's still a soundtrack during the innings. And a lot of times they will play it live. I say this because John Molina has his own entrance music. He even announced it, if I remember correctly, that he was going to walk out to that music earlier this week. And Adrian Broner in his last couple of fights has come out to rappers leading leading him to the ring. A whole lot of foul language in the lyrics that really don't make any sense. So maybe, so maybe that's one reason that they weren't allowed to come out with their own entrance songs. Getting past the entrances, the fight itself was as ugly as a bowling shoe. John Molina landed one shot on Adrian Broner in the first round. Broner was moving around too much for Molina to catch up, catch up to him and John Molina was being too tentative and did not throw enough punches to take Adrian Broner out of his rhythm. Now Broner was the same. He wasn't throwing a lot of punches either. He was just looking for that one shot to catch John Molina Jr. and push him back. And this happened in the second, third, fourth and then in the fifth till maybe the eighth round they traded more shots but John Molina still wasn't landing that many shots and was smothering Adrian Broner in order to get him to stay in one place. That was John Molina's way of cutting off the ring from Adrian Broner. He would smother him, Broner couldn't move, they'd break, he'd do the same thing again. This fight, I believe from the 8th round all the way to the 12th, it was booed by the Las Vegas crowd. And yes, there was a lot of luminaries in attendance. I believe they showed Denzel Washington and a couple other actors in the crowd. Yes, Adrian Broner won a 12 round unanimous decision, but he did it in a very ugly fashion in a very unimpressive fashion. I don't think he even hurt John Molina once in the fight. And maybe John Molina hurt Adrian Broner a couple of times. Broner's explanation, he said the last time he came out and fought for the fans, he lost. And that fight he lost was the one against Marcos Maidana. But in reality, he didn't lose it because of the fans. He lost it because he was being a jackass in the ring. He was humping on Maidana. He was talking shit to him. And he kept getting caught. Now, Broner did not win any new fans. In this fight, he did go later on to say that he will be back in June in Cincinnati, Ohio. And hopefully, he performs a whole lot better in his hometown than he did tonight in Las Vegas. 